Hello Aries and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for your full moon in Aries Astro Tarot reading. Now this is going to be a very potent moon for you Aries because it's in your sign and it's opposing the sun which is conjuncting Mars, your ruling planet in Libra. So this is Mars is in its detriment in Libra because Mars wants to think about what needs to get done and just take action. And Aries is about the self because you kick off the astro wheel. And so there's a balancing here. And then later on that evening, that moon is going to slide into Taurus at 3.59 p.m. And then on the following day, on October 21st, it's going to conjunct Uranus that's been there in Taurus for quite some time at 6.28 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please adjust to your time zone. So the full moon is about what's being illuminated for you. And with it being in Aries, it's illuminating something about the self. What is being concluded or what goal are you reaching? And with the focus, because it's shifting here, with it in Aries, it's about self-image, self-confidence, and the action that you want to take to cut through to the truth of the matter, because that's what Aries does. And with it, the focus shifting in Taurus to career finances, and with that Uranus energy, it can be uh, sudden changes or unexpected events. But those occurrences support your personal evolution. With the sun conjuncting Mars and Libra, this is about balancing health and wealth. And keep in mind that health is wealth. And then the Taurus moon conjuncting Uranus again it's how do you adapt to those sudden changes those unexpected events you know this can create a crisis situation but in that crisis new opportunities can arise so let's get into your reading Aries now this is a general tarot reading meant for Aries sun moon Venus and or rising so let's see what your sacred rebel has for you aries ah spirals of manifestation with the number 18. wow that's beautiful to me with spirals this is the ebb and flow of energies uh, this is the breath. This is the heartbeat. And the spirals of manifestation is from your thoughts. What it is that you want to manifest into being, into this world. And that can create a sudden change of unexpected events. All right, let's see what your witch's familiar has for you. Because it is October and the season of the witch, we have to bring in those energies for you, Aries. And we have, oh, the bee community. Nice. And one thing about Aries is that you do tend to be busy as a bee. You like to be active. You're a very active person. And a lot of times, you can't slow down until you exhaust yourself physically. And this is where that balance of health and wealth can be speaking to you, Aries. So let's go deeper into this reading with some tarot. And let's see what messages Spirit has for you, Aries. we start off with the three of pentacles this is nice 
this shows a foundation of uh, of productivity and I think it goes very nicely with this B and community. You may have an active role in your community somehow or your family because B hives tend to be family, community, and you like to remain productive somehow. The Three of Pentacles can also be contracts of work, being recognized for the work that you do do or this can also be a promotion into doing something more of what you want to do here's the king of swords which is ruled by libra and your ruling planet mars is in libra so the king of swords can he's very direct this is about balancing things and as i said this can be a balance of health and wealth. And the pentacles speak of wealth. And the king of swords is reminding you to balance your health of mind, body, and soul, which includes your emotions. And then we have the queen of cups. I said about emotions, you know, and here's the queen of cups. She's very intuitive, extremely sensitive to that which is around her. Uh, she can be a little too open. But with the Queen of Cups in this bee community, I get this feeling that you are the queen bee of the hive, Aries. And you need to uh, balance that. And keep in mind, the queen stays within the hive and her workers do the work for her. Um, and with this king of swords, this could be a warning of, you know, don't push yourself too hard, but also don't give too many responsibilities to others because they may not be able to do as much as you do, Aries, because you are a big source of fiery energy. And here we have the two of cups. This is the beginning of an emotional relationship. This can be a platonic relationship. Somebody that you're compatible with and you just have a platonic relationship with because you respect each other. And the King of Swords speaks of this balanced respect in the relationship. And the Queen of Swords, again, is extremely intuitive. And then we have the Fool. This is letting yourself be, letting yourself go and have some fun. And with the Two of Cups, this is also someone who can accept the less conventional part of you, Aries. Somebody who, ex who can accept your silliness, your sense of humor, um, or even we all have our foolishness that we have done. And so then we have the nine of wands, which makes you feel like that you have to protect and guard yourself. So here I'm seeing perhaps some foolish act may have embarrassed you. You embarrassed yourself and somehow it's revealing this, this deeper shame that you feel but it's only bringing it to your attention so that you may heal it and have deeper understanding. Um, and the fool is the one who brings those hidden matters to light. And you have a friend who still loves and accepts you for who you are. But you are feeling like that you need to protect yourself and just maybe have some alone time. And here with the Queen of Cups, you may have become oversensitized or overstimulated in some em kind of emotional situation. And remember, there is a wide range of emotions. This is a general tarot reading, so this can mean different things to each of you. But there is a lot of excitement 
and then you have to withdraw from all of that. This could be other people's drama and it just gets too much and you have to set up a boundary and just spend time alone so that you can rejuvenate yourself. All right, then we have the Ten of Cups. This is happiness and bliss. And here we have the spirals of manifestation. The cups speak to the heart. And this also has to do with family. Um, it has gratitude for the blessings of family and friends. And then we have, wow, beautiful, Ten of Pentacles. This is also money that's inherited. It is... Uh, it is a ancestral inheritance. It could be financial. It could be your through the DNA, your DNA karma. And there is something, it could be that you're celebrating something of in your family tree, something that brings understanding, greater understanding to who you are. Because again, we have these spirals of manifestations and we ascend from that spiral you know our descendants are below us there are roots and then we have that Fibonacci spiral if you will that spirals outward or inward and then we have the page of wands which is ruled by Sagittarius, a fire sign. And this is very compatible with you, Aries, because you too are fire. This is giving you a higher perspective on your situation in your world. And this is also a very adventurous card. Now, the Page of Wands and the Fool are similar in nature. The Page of Wands is more about exploring ideas and intellectual pursuits and higher learning. And just, you know, sometimes just doing something for the sake of that learning. And others may perceive it as, you know, foolishness. But for you, it enriches your soul emotionally and physically and again this is a time for balancing health with wealth and how you feel with the cups is how you're balancing your your health and then the ten of pentacles is how you're balancing your wealth <clears throat> now let's get into your tea leaves I'm just going to divide this up in three because it is a very thick deck. <laughs> so let's see what we have for you in the first row here, Aries. Ah, oh, that's too many cards. Although it feels like this card here that landed in my fingers like this is the card meant for you so let's see what it is look at that it's a door opportunities are waiting for you aries that three of pentacles speaks of financial opportunities and the king of swords speaks of balancing that health and wealth and the queen of cups is about feelings your sensitivity and an opportunity could mean many different things. And because this is a general tarot reading, that meaning is going to vary for each of you. But there is a beautiful opportunity. And it could be in the romance because we do have this Two of Cups. This card, the bird perched, waiting for news, a package or a letter. Okay. 
Okay, well, right here with the Nine of Wands, it definitely looks like this person is waiting for something. And the wands do represent messages, communications, ideas. And the Eight of Wands, the card that precedes that, is about messages being received. Okay, let's see. That's too many cards. We just are looking for the one. Okay, the boat. Money or property through an inheritance, winning or a windfall. Wow, look at that. Because here we have money or property with the Ten of Pentacles through an inheritance. The Ten of Pentacles speaks of inheritance. And winning or a financial windfall, well, that would certainly make one feel very blessed and extremely happy. So, and the Page of Wands speaks of, you know, ruled by Sagittarius, speaks of trying one's luck. You know, they go out and they try to, you know, they may play a game or two to win something. This could be playing the lottery or bingo or whatever it is, the horses. Sagittarius being a centurion, horses tend to be very prominent with Sagittarians. So there is money or property that is coming to you. Now, this doesn't mean that you're going to win a huge amount, but there's that opportunity. There are opportunities waiting for you, and you are waiting for that. And this pet news package or letter could have something to do with your inheritance or property or winning, some kind of financial windfall. Okay, let's see what kind of magic there is for you that's for this full moon because it's always fun to do a little magic during the full moon and we have for you Aries the festival yeah you're going to be celebrating something creates an energetic blueprint for a fantastic party or event Okay, that speaks of community. That speaks of this spiral of manifestation, too. You know, if it feels right to place certain numbers, if you keep seeing repetitive numbers, that could be spirit speaking to you to play those numbers um, or to attune yourself to something. There could be doors. There could be a certain bird that you see perched that you see often. And... If you see boats, that could also be a signal that spirit is communicating to you with. So let's see what your eternal light has. What messages for the for you, Aries, there is. And we have... All things must pass. When a storm flows into your life, remember that it's just passing by. All will pass. Life is perpetual movement. There is peace always in your higher mind and spirit. Let there also be peace in your heart. Okay. Well, I'm going to conclude your reading here for you, Aries. You know, I think this speaks to the spiral as well because we start, the spiral is always in perpetual movement. Balance is in perpetual movement. 
of back and forth. And you are going to have this incredible, there's something beautiful coming your way. There's a beautiful opportunity that's going to bring you what you want, what you're trying to manifest. So best of luck to you, Aries. And until next time, take care.